know you guys think this is like too much, but I'm telling you, it's so easy. We get onions, don't we? We get a bag of onions. We have plenty of onions. We're going to make our own tomato sauce. I know you usually also get fresh tomatoes. So I've got some old tomatoes from the farmer's market. Some old tomatoes that I think I got in one of the food bags that was in the refrigerator. So I'm going to definitely rinse these and use these in my tomato sauce. Old tomatoes are the best. And if they're going old, you pop them in the freezer, you can use them directly frozen, just put them into your sauce, okay? So it'll be fresh old tomatoes. Um, then I've got really canned plum tomatoes are the best. So I've got a can of plum tomatoes. And then I also have a can of um, diced tomatoes and juice. That cooks down really quickly. And then I'm going to put a little tomato paste in. I'm actually going to fry the tomato paste after I saute onion and garlic. And it gives this depth of flavor to the tomato sauce without having to let it simmer for a long time. So we're going to do a quick tomato sauce. And then I'm going to add um, some pepper. I, I'm going to add some fresh black pepper. Remember, I'm not doing any salt because this is going to go in with the processed meat. So, or we have it on the side. You can always add salt as you serve it, but I don't cook with salt. I just try to keep that inflammation and sodium down. So we'll have fresh basil inside the tomato sauce. It's going to be great. I usually add the fresh basil at the end. Um, and... What else do we have? And then I'll probably, uh, when I fix the sauce, just add some dry basil leaves. I want to have a really, really deep basil flavor. All right. Okay. So let's um, let's get started putting all this together in a skillet on the stove. I guess I'll dice and chop, and I'll I'll, I'll do that really quickly. <laughs> onion. I'll do the dry basil, take that to the stove, and let me open up um, the cans, and then I'll meet you at the stove. Okay, I put a little olive oil in our hot skillet. I'm actually going to turn this down because this needs to go really quick. We start off with our onions. Down to low because I don't want these to brown, I just want them to get translucent. Put a little olive oil over here. I want to be really careful of the garlic. I absolutely don't want this to burn, it will turn bitter and it will ruin your tomato sauce. So take this kind of nice and slow. Once we get these really kind of translucent, in fact, I'll 
I'll turn it up a little bit. Because the next thing we're going to do, and this is the biggest trick in making a quick tomato sauce, is if you cooked it all day, like a true Italian or a true southern cook who's making tomato sauce, right? You know how we do it? But this is going to be the quick way. Especially those little bitty pieces, we do not want those. Okay, so now the next thing, and I'm going to put it on high, so this is going to be really tricky. I probably should take the onions out. You know what, I will. I'm so scared they're going to burn. So I took out all the sauteed garlic and onion. Now what we're going to do is we're going to fry, yes, we're going to fry on high tomato paste. I'm going to just use maybe half of a can. And then what you can do with tomato paste is then you put it in a little bag and put it in the freezer immediately. Because this is, once again, this is open. So let's take a look. So you do this on high. And you basically are frying it. It gives this depth of flavor, y'all. We'll put a little more olive oil. Now we're putting in the fresh tomatoes. All this is on high, y'all. All this is high, high temperature. Put a little more oil. Don't want it to burn. But all those bits at the bottom, y'all, is part of our sauce. So this is kind of like our concentrate. I think this is also a good time to put in the basil. A little more olive oil. Alright, now let's put in the can of tomato, the juice, so now you scrape all that stuff off the bottom, all those bits. Makes it that, see that deep color, y'all? See? When I tell you this already has so much flavor, it is kind of like a tomato roux, you know? Because we're going to dilute it with the chicken broth. It's in the pot. Looks like we've got all that stuff at the bottom. Mmm, y'all, yeah, it looks so good. Smells good, too. And no salt, y'all. No salt. Okay, now let's put our sautéed onion and garlics that are translucent back in. Keep it on high. Keep it on high. You really want this to be concentrated. And you want those little tomatoes to bust open and start breaking down. You can see they already are. And the ones, of course, that I sliced, you see there's already broken down. So it's going to take a little bit more for those little ones. Yummy, 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 yummy. 
So this is the broth, the chicken broth that's just been on warm that we melted our ice cubes, but for you, this is just your chicken broth. So now we're going to combine the two in the pot, and then I'll make a decision. Let's see, let me see. Yeah. Then I'll make a decision if I use the other can that I've already opened. So let's do this nice and gentle. Nice and gentle. Smells so good. Okay, so here's our tomato sauce. Now, I don't... Okay, so I'll tell you already what has happened. I probably do need to put the other tomato in there simply because of the consistency this has to reduce down some more it's these tomatoes because they're whole tomatoes and how I will dice the tomatoes take the can you see that and then just cut them in the can This is the way my mom used to do it when she was making tomato sauce for oxtails. But I think she used a knife. I don't think she used kitchen scissors. See? It makes it easier for it to reduce. I'm actually going to keep this on high and the lid off for a while. Our tomato sauce, which has been rapid boiling for, oh, I don't know. I guess it's been a good 45 minutes. So let's, um, let's take a look. Let's take a look. how well that's reduced down and even some of the tomatoes have reduced broken down it looks really good y'all nice and thick once again this is nothing but tomatoes garlic onions dried basil and ground pepper that's it and this is our tomato sauce y'all but the other thing that I, I like to keep it cooked down and keep it really nice, thick, and chunky. But for those of you who like just a smooth tomato sauce, all you have to do is strain it. I may show you that. But anyway, let's do the last thing. I'm going to turn it down to a simmer. I'm going to put the last, I'm going to put these, you know, we chopped up with basil. And I just like putting it at the very end. So it just really keeps a lot of its flavor. Mmm, smells so good. Alright, so we'll just let this simmer some more on low heat with the lid on. And um, let it do its thing. Once our Sounds good, y'all. And we can freeze this. This is what I love so much. This big old batch, we can freeze. All right, let's put the lid on before it splats everywhere. 